Indians and in free color, then the slaves. But at the time that we're talking about up until this point, the slaves is the Caucasians. <laughs> you dig? These are all Caucasoids. Up until 1870 and all of that, right when the new so-called fake Congress that we just read about, right, from 1877 to 78, constituted a select committee to consider report upon the subject, which then means they weren't the original ones, and this was the new fake government coming in and now trying to redistribute who was going to get money and who wasn't. So when Moors today are telling you that it's okay to check black and then write Moorish American, you got to wonder on the census, you got to wonder what's up with that. Is all I'm saying. That doesn't sound correct. Why would you list the misnomer at the same time you're doing the, 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 the proper But remember, they count Africans as white. They count Indians as white. They count whoever, at, you dig what I'm saying? Because it's a status thing. Whoever can come over here and make money or, or disrespect us get to have communities. Because everything is done on our behalf based on them doing it so-called in trust. But this entire system that we're dealing with is still a European-based system that came initially from our brothers, or excuse me, our cousins and them from all across the water who was getting kicked out of their homes and then eventually was able to manipulate the situation over here for us to get under their version of it. And that's also the problem. That's why you can have Siberians and Mongolians listed as so-called indigenous to this land. But they've only been here, if anything, maybe 10,000 years. I don't even think it's been that long. It's been from the 13th century, really, if not a little later. Johnson said, I can have these niggas vote Democrat for the next 200 years by breaking down the family structure, getting them to adopt the welfare system, and then creating a, a perpetual state, ward of the state system that would allow a criminalization of them through what became the war on drugs instituted by Clinton. One of the main culprits in this whole thing. So these are Siberians. These are people who are claiming to be here from America. These are the same people. They have more in common with them over there than us over here, but they want to swear blind that they're this, but they've only been this for as long as we haven't been ourselves. You understand? So whether you're a Democrat or Republican, it's all the same system because every aspect of the system is based on the the moors and how we worked society
know what I'm saying? So each one of these people play a part. However, we still have a disconnect now when it comes to getting our people to be on it. That's why I'm saying, like, at this point, all you can do in this time that they're trying to shut everything down and reset everything is to really mobilize and take this time to get your thing together. Get whatever documents you need to get drafted or whatever so when they open back up for business. Remember, he said when they close it down or open it back up, it's going to be in the Moors' favor. He said no matter how it looks, it's all going to go back to the Moors. So if we have faith in that, all we have to do is follow through and do our part. You know what I'm saying? Right, and we're seeing that. But the masses, see, my only thing is the fact they're still doing this in the in the backside. They're still creating cover stories to go over the other side. So if this virus is literally killing hundreds of people where they locking countries down, but then the melanated people is not being affected and they're keeping that aspect of it quiet or downplaying it as much, now we have to understand this is the visible proof that we are also different. And that maybe there is something to this melanin thing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That they not really doing the knowledge to. But if everybody's playing the game by being one of these pieces on the board, they, they just going to follow through with the agenda. And that's what I think most of the people talking about the virus thing and all of that is really doing. Because it's nothing new. It's just they ramped up and amped up this part of it. These are all small drills for the apocalypse. Like when they was about to go to war with Iran in the beginning of the year. <laughs> Excuse me, the beginning of the fiscal year. Remember that? And again, this ain't all just the United States. This is all governments in the world they doing this too. fact that they'll talk about all of these these CEOs stepping down that was just like back in the beginning of two, right before 2000 when you had all of these companies merging to create what we call globalization which has led to the destruction of humanity like we all said it would you got everybody on the same grid when it crash here it's going to crash everywhere but everybody want to be so interconnected but we're we're, we're the most separated as a species and we have the most connection so you can't exist in a constant state of indecisiveness like that as a species that's well, are we going to live are we going to die are we going to extinct ourselves are we going to let them kill us all like you can't live like that so Moore's agreeing to be identified as slaves in order to, or as ex-slaves or descended from slaves to get money is different than Moore's basically declaring their nationality and then agreeing to reconstitute their Republican form of government amongst themselves. That's totally different. Now it's not about whether or not you're going to give me the reparation or the money or not. Now I'm, I'm requesting the money based upon my status, you know what I'm saying, as the creditor over you. In this case, the term nation, nation is almost equivalent to civilizado. And still, in different sense, the term is employed when referring to a certain personality trait that one believes to be congenital in Indians or Spaniards. And in this case, one says, eso de nation y, by birth, i.e. by birth. Eso es de nation, by birth. The term moro literally more is commonly used when referring to the ancient Indians of the valley and the village. The time of the Moors and Tempio de los Moros, right, are frequently heard when discussing the history of the region with the words reano 
and Rihanna, or Ray, which is Bay, which is King. I got a joint called The Litany of Ray, uh, some quotes taken from the Mormon book, and it talks about how Ray and Bay is the same thing. So Ray, or Ra, like the sun god Ra, or Ray, is Bay, which means King. And then the Spanish bites recently, and some of them had acquired fame and curers or shamans, and they still often re- are still often remembered. The terms mortal and reano, of, and of course quite offensive when used while discussing the genealogy of a local family of a high class status. So in order for you to have any type of sway in the ancient world, you had to be of Moorish blood until the Romans came and tried to wipe that out. I don't even know. One of my more sent it to me um, via email. I guess he got it from internet or whatever. So this ain't, you understand? This ain't no, um, no new thing. Like we're, we're waking up to where we are now. One of my more sent me this too. It's America. See the English more? Indigenous more? So-called Aboriginal. What's that in the back, though? <laughs> you see any teepees behind them? No, you see houses. And look, he flashing him the sign of the thinker, the master, and he's taking his hat off to him because he's the landlord. Yeah, it means crown or center. Corona is where you get the term Quran. That's the core. It's the root. So anything with the core dealing with the sun can't be a problem for us. <laughs> or should it be a problem for us, really? Look, this is more evidence of what I was talking about. This is Granada. Here in so-called South America, which they also call in Jerusalem. And then again, this was the map flip to show the redesignations. This is why the southern economy was the number one economy. Because everything started in the south. Remember, the pyramids is all in the south. All of that's in South America. Going all the way up here to the Mississippi, all the way up to Canada, on both sides. So now think about that. Everybody in Italy, remember all of them pictures? Wait. Those wait, what they got? All these guys. <laughs> I don't like ugly and cute neither. Remember all these guys in Italy? Remember all these guys dressing up like you every year? Right? <laughs> right? 
ever since you've been gone, they putting coal on their face, dressing up in the most finest aspects of the uniforms that you used to have. Only thing they still Christian and poor eating. And acting like you and all that, right? Or read about the death toll reports of these people that carry the bodies out of Italy. Remember, the death, the, the birth rate in, in Europe is already zero. Remember, y'all, the birth rate already zero. Already. As Malcolm said, this the chicken coming home to roost, man. This is all of them coming down because all of these festivals is funded by these same uh, transgender, pedophile-type or people that's getting locked up on the low or worse, hopefully. Else was I gonna show you guys real quick? Yeah, look, this was the king. This is an image of the, one of the kings of Virginia that they put on the money. I mean, that they put on the tobacco out there back in the day. Remember, these malls were kings and queens here. That's that's who's being lynched in these pictures: the kings, the queens, the bays, the days, the elves, the emperors, the princesses, all of these people. King of Virginia. I remember Virginia is where we held all of the Caucasian people. That was referred to as Edom, where we was holding all of them in, in bondage in the tobacco plantations. So you got to remember each one of these corporations, even, right? All of them are run by the same cabal based entity. It has nothing to do with whether you're down with it or want to be down with it or not. It has to do with the fact that this is how all of y'all been getting money ever since. Big up to Elkhorn Bay. <laughs> Brother sent me this one of his um, posts. And I wanted to talk about this too. The birthplace of the Republican Party in Wisconsin. Now remember, Wisconsin is old Mauritania on exotic map. And uh, as well as the... Uh, mm reference that as well in the stories of the Winnesheek people and all of them. The Republican Party of the United States of America was founded in a schoolhouse in Rip Ripon, Wisconsin, purpose to center uh, to counter the Democrats' plan to expand slavery in America. These dudes is all Democrats. Then, So the Republicans and Democrats are the same plan, but what I'm saying is that within the Republican aspect of it, is these people acting Republicans now is also Democrats. But the strength of the country is in the Republic, and that Republic for which it stands was founded by those who had state allegiance, and that is us. So now all of these malls that have been playing the fence and going back and forth with these people, going to these people think, you heard about what happened with Andrew Gillum, right? You think that's a coincidence? Andrew Gillum out here caught him in the gay meth orgy. Caught this black man that was running for governor out here he un under the Hillary t ticket, though. He was down with Hillary in there. So you already know. Look, this your boy, man. This your boy. Look, you know what this symbol is? Everybody talking about the sneaker that's on his face. You know what this is the symbol of? What's up with that? Gotcha. So, look at him catching the virus. That might mean. He getting caught up in the sweep. Real talk. You can't wear the trappings of the devil and expect not to, you know what I'm saying? 